In this video, we're going to be talking about the 12 features confirmed to be coming to the MCC for 2020. Things like crossplay, input based matchmaking, custom browser, and many other things. And we will be talking about other features like FOV sliders coming to console, as I know I've been getting a lot of questions about that. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news, informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button so let me know I want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you're looking forward to the most for MCC coming for 2020. So let's get right into the video here. As we do at the end of every month, Postums goes online and drops a big boy MCC development update talking about what they're working on now, what they have been working on, and what's going to be coming to the game in the future. And in this blog post, they give us 12 confirmed features that are going to be coming to the MCC, which have been in a lot of questions pretty much throughout the entirety of MCC coming to PC. So let's get right into it. So number one list, crossplay. Two is input-based matchmaking. Three is server region selection, custom game browser, per game graphics options, per game audio options, mouse and keyboard support for Xbox, PC file share, double keybinds for all games, view model adjustments for all games, in-game FPS cap and adjustments, and Steam account linking. Now, a lot of these features are tied together as they are very much needed for one to other one to work. So essentially something like crossplay needs input-based matchmaking and server region selection and stuff like that. So 343 is planning to release these different features in groups. So the first group they're talking about for, especially for crossplay, is looking to do crossplay, input-based matchmaking, and server selection in one group and in another group to be released at a different time would be custom game browser, per game graphics options, and mouse and keyboard support for Xbox. Now 343 doesn't say exactly when or which one of these groups is going to be released first. I would assume that probably something like custom game browser and those kind of in-game options might come before crossplay, as I'm sure that they probably would wait till the entirety of the MCC is released to also announce crossplay. It might even come with Halo 4 when Halo 4 comes out to PC. As they're currently working on ODST right now, to have that released probably by September would be my guess. Something like crossplay and input based matchmaking with server region selection as well is going to be absolutely massive for the MCC as a whole. Uh, population does kind of fluctuate quite a bit, and also having these two dedicated player bases on com two completely platforms, it can be leading to some uh, extended matchmaking times for sure. Uh, it'd be very interesting to see how they're going to actually implement crossplay and input based matchmaking. If it's going to be just like a toggle on and off feature, or if it's going to be built into the matchmaking, there's different ways they definitely could go about doing this. I am very excited about crossplay coming to the MCC. It's going to give a huge boom of population when it comes to uh, this game where you can find matches that you want to play probably even faster than you ever could do before. Input based matchmaking is going to be very important for the MCC because there is a, an advantage to controller play when it comes to the MCC. Now it's not just an aim assist issue as there are multiple factors when it comes to this. Like I feel like Reach and Halo 3 work out pretty well on mouse and keyboard for the gameplay in general. Though when it comes to like Halo 2 with much faster strafing speeds and things like that, it can be a bit more tricky. So having that feature, being able to know that I'm only matching against other mouse and keyboard players will certainly help me be more confident into growing my skills as a PC player. It's going to be absolutely massive for the community is going to be custom game brand browser, much like what we have for Halo 5. Uh, the custom game browser is an amazing feature. There are so many amazing classic game modes that people have been recreating ever since uh, they've had custom games online for Halo. And I'm really looking forward to see what uh, 343 is going to be implementing with the custom game browser. Now, it does work out well in the Halo 5. The, the biggest issue I find is that when people are joining in and leaving a game, the lobby just completely freezes. Like I've sat there for like five minutes straight with a frozen game because people are jumping in and leaving. And as they jump in and leave, it creates that lag even more because we're waiting to get everything working. And it just becomes a big hassle to where I don't even bother with it really unless I'm hosting a match specifically with 
most likely no time limit in like a free-for-all game just to kind of warm up on my skills or something like that but uh, this is gonna be an amazing way to, to say if you want to play hardcore reach settings which is kind of difficult to find right now at the moment with the mzc you can do that with custom game browser just set up hardcore halo reach lobby and people can join in that would be amazing it's a feature i've always wanted in the halo especially in these classic halos with all these amazing classic games uh, to be implemented ever since, oh gosh, like Halo 2, back when I was playing zombies with the honor system back in the day. So it's gonna be really great to see that come back. Of course, uh, per game graphics options gonna be fantastic, just because I really like having unlimited frames on some games and on some games, not so much. I'm looking at you, Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo Reach. Talking about frame rate improvements in the in design iteration section of this blog update. This is a section where basically they're kind of laying out the blueprints and groundwork of how they're gonna actually go into start implementing these features into the MCC. So this, these are things that will be coming to the MCC. Just right now, they're just kind of working out the little bits and pieces about how they're actually gonna go about doing it. Uh, things like additional mod support, text chat improvements, better ways to report players, very frame rate improvements to Halo Reach and Halo 2 Anniversary and per game audio options which has just recently just been added into that. Variable frame rate improvements will be greatly appreciated when it comes to Reach and Halo 2 Anniversary because if I want to play a mix of the different Halo games I pretty much put it on 60 frames because I like Reach and I like Halo 2 Anniversary but I like having more frames in Halo 3 it looks a lot nicer and so but kind of limiting everything at 60 it's just kind of like man this is kind of why I play on PC to get those higher frame rates, you know, especially since uh, my PC can certainly handle that for sure. Uh, a great thing though, it's going to be really glad to see they're looking into this is additional mod support. Modding will be the reason why the MCC lives on beyond Halo Infinite's release because uh, if we've seen from Combat Evolve's custom edition that their people are still making content to this day. If you guys have seen uh, some of the amazing mods that people have been putting together uh, of custom edition, it's it's kind of funny, hilarious, and really great. I mean, it's the reason why they had Cursed Halo was created. It's because of Custom Edition. People are still playing CE on PC because of the mod support and really looking forward to seeing what they can pull off with that. There's even a section within this uh, blog post talking about how their, you know, the mod support's been kind of put on the back burner for quite some time since the uh, release of it on the PC. And uh, that's the reason why it's because of just different priorities have been shifting around when it comes to the development of bringing the MCC to PC. You know, that's game development, things change, things happen. Uh, but looking like now they actually have the priorities and the opportunities now to actually go in and work on giving some proper mod support to the MCC. Uh, they do mention that they have to talk to uh, some licensing programs within Microsoft to make sure that what people can make with the MCC is uh, something that is allowed within Microsoft's platform. As we saw with mods like the El Dorito, where uh, yeah, it was a mod of um, some Halo content that wasn't exactly legally supposed to be able to be done. And so they had to take that down. But I'm really looking forward to some true mod support with the MCC. Once that happens, it's off to the races with the mod community. And I'm really looking forward to what see what they can pull off. And talking about in the backlog section, this is a portions of the MCC development that they do want to get to. It's just that uh, right now it's kind of on the back burner. No one's really, it's not really being worked on at the moment, but they do have it on their radar basically. And those options are our text chat on and off option, idle system in improvements, uh, bringing PC features to console like FOV sliders. I've been seeing a lot of comments in my videos talking about the FOV sliders coming to the MCC. Uh, looks like it's going to be on the back burner. Probably not going to be happening in 2020, guys. So uh, sadly enough, it looks like that's what's going to be the case for that. And a lot of PC features come in the console. Uh, additional accessibility support, split screen on PC, and HDR support on PC. So don't hold your breath on those PC features coming to console, guys, uh, anytime soon. I'm assuming we'll definitely will be seeing some Halo Infinite time once uh, those features even get a chance to come around. Uh, I would even probably suggest they would never come around when it comes to MCC, but you know, we also never thought that MCC would be fixed the way it is now we're coming to PC. So never say never, right? So that's currently what 343 is working on for the MCC. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know when you see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you're excited about or disappointed about with all these updates when it comes to what is being worked on for the MCC. And if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me and want to stay up to date with anything going on with Halo news, make sure to check out the videos on the screen right, screen right now. Got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.